Wall D rushed into the auto body mechanic shop with his wife trailing behind him. Paul was looking for his old marine buddy Frank, who now worked there. Paul spotted Frank and screamed dramatically. Frank, I need your help, he shouted. All of my damn teeth are snapping off and crunching into powder. Paul was stomping around on top of his teeth that were pouring out of his mouth as he spoke. Frank, we're losing daylight. I don't think my shitty teeth will make it through the night. Paul was desperately trying to get Frank to understand how quickly the situation was escalating. His teeth were falling out at an alarming rate. Frank asked Paul in horror, what the hell happened to your teeth? My wife paid me to eat her snapper this morning, and she farted. The impact blew my head back and loosened up my teeth. My goddamn teeth popped right off and went shooting all around the room. Paul's wife told Frank that Paul had been drinking nothing but Dr. Pepper for the last 20 years. Paul turned to his wife in a cold embrace with his broken teeth jiggling by threads off of his lips. You are a liar! You are lying to Frank! Tell Frank you are lying, you liar! Paul's wife quickly obeyed Paul's request and apologized to Frank for being such a pathological liar out of touch with reality. Frank asked Paul, why didn't you just go to the dentist? Frank. I don't have the money to foolishly waste at the dentist. I need this money to gamble at the casino this weekend. Paul explained to Frank demandingly. I have a bag of soda cans from the state of Rhode Island. They are worthless. Rhode Island doesn't recycle. We can melt them down and create teeth for me, buddy. Frank took Paul to his auto body shop and sat him down in a car seat in the middle of the shop. He gave Paul a half bottle of hand sanitizer and told him to smoke anti-diarrhea pills off of tin foil for a homemade anesthesia. Paul lay back, blowing a black cloud of anti-diarrhea medication out of his mouth. Paul started slugging down the hand sanitizer as his eyes began to glow red, filling with blood. He wiped up his mouth and shouted happily to Frank. Frank, how are my teeth coming along, buddy? Are the cans melting properly? Paul... You can't just drink hand sanitizer and smoke anti-diarrhea pills. You could die. Paul's wife shouted frantically. I know, but I have to save my money for the casino. Can't you understand? He sucked up another cloud of black smoke from the tin foil. Paul shouted loudly at his wife. Sift through the piles of my teeth that fell out of my head earlier. Toss out all of the black and grey ones and salvage the good ones. What, Paul? They're all black. Oh, Paul shouted. Frank ran over to Paul and stuck an Allen wrench into his mouth, sliding the wrench across his gums and knocking out any sharp shards of teeth that remained in his mouth. Frank created three tiny scalding hot aluminum teeth out of the soda cans, each aluminum tooth a different color. He stuck the piping hot aluminum teeth into Paul's top gums as his gums sizzled and bled down his chin. Paul smiled at his wife with his bloody, multicolored set of three teeth. Look, honey, I'm the man you married 30 years ago again. Frank busted up Paul's romantic moment by saying, Paul, we're out of soda cans. You'll have to settle for those three. Paul was enraged and screamed. Are you kidding me, Frank? I need more teeth. Me and my wife's wedding bands. Melt them down and sculpt them into teeth. Paul's wife sat and cried as Frank was melting down their sacred bonds of marriage. Paul sat there and watched Frank work, smoking more anti-diarrhea pills off of tin foil. Paul was feeling buzzed and blurted out to Frank. Wouldn't it be funny if you could actually smoke diarrhea itself? <laughs> Paul and Frank laughed as Paul's wobbly aluminum teeth dripped in blood. Frank rushed over to Paul with a metal cup full of liquid molten gold that was once his wedding bands and tilted Paul's head back. He yelled, we will have to pour it on your gums before it hardens then we can sculpt them. Frank poured the molten golden liquid onto Paul's gums. Ow! My shitty mouth! Shut up and let me pour this gold into your mouth, you ungrateful bastard! Suddenly Frank snapped, having an old war flashback and began punching Paul in the stomach. Paul screamed with his golden gums clanking together in his bloody mouth. Frank screamed, Die, you commie bitch! Frank quickly held his Allen wrench to his ear and said, 
I'm heading back to base, Colonel. Frank crawled on his stomach out of the auto body shop with stealth and headed towards the base. All through his head to the side, as smoke poured thick off of his mutilated golden gums. That's when Paul noticed the bag on the ground. Paul's wife had given Frank the wrong bag of cans to melt down. You idiot! You complete asshole! You gave Frank the wrong cans! That's 15 cents down the tubes! Paul jumped out of the car seat and ran to his truck, leaving his wife in the dust. Paul sped to Walmart as fast as he could. He power walked into the recycling room holding his stomach as Paul ripped his three tiny aluminum teeth from his golden gums and desperately threw them into the can cashing machine. But to Paul's horror, his tiny aluminum teeth just slid down into the machine without a single gear grinding at all. This was it. It was all over. Paul's entire world came crashing down on him. He had lost his teeth, his friend, and his 15 cents. Paul crumbled to his knees in the recycling room and screamed, I'm ruined. How will I ever financially recover from this? He blacked out cold from all the anti-diarrhea pills he had smoked. Paul was shook awake on the recycling room floor by the police as they asked him what happened. Paul was instantly embarrassed and wasn't about to tell the truth of how cheap he was. He told the officers in tears, It's my wife! She's lost her mind, officer. My wife's sister told me I had a beautiful smile as she saw me sing for our church choir. My wife was filled with jealousy and smashed out all of my teeth with a hammer. She melted down our wedding rings and poured them all over my destroyed teeth and called me a scumbag. The police hugged Paul as he told them he was an inactive marine trying to do what's right with his life. The police stormed over to the auto body shop and took Paul's wife into custody for the mutilation and disfigurement of Paul's teeth. Paul pressed full charges on his wife and became a motivational speaker for domestic violence victims. Paul's story became a viral sensation and he was featured on several talk shows, sharing his inspirational message of overcoming adversity and finding the strength to rebuild your life.